Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to F2 Worlds, the channel where we talk all things Final Fantasy. Before I begin, I would like to remind you that we are close to 500 subscribers. When we reach this milestone, I will be covering the topic as stated in my introduction to the channel video, so go watch it if you haven't yet to see which milestones I have in store. In today's video, we will be exploring one of the most iconic symbols in the world of Spira. Throughout the years, this song has persisted and is sung all around the world by its inhabitants. I am, of course, talking about the Hymn of the Faith. This song is well known not only in Spira, but in Dream Zanarkand as well. But why? Why was this song so popular? And what exactly does it mean to the people of Spira? Where did it originate? What is its meaning? We will be exploring all these questions in today's video, so without further ado, let us delve into the Hymn of the Faith. The Hymn of the Faith is a very popular song that is heard many times throughout the game. In order to get the story of the song, you must speak to Macon in Mount Gagazet. Based on his explanation, the Hymn of the Faith was used 1,000 years ago by Xanarkandians in defiance to Bevel and its armies around the time of the Machina War. When Yevon turned the citizens of Xanarkand into faith in order to preserve the memory of the near-ruined city, the memory of the song was preserved, but its original meaning was lost. This is likely because of Yevon's desire for Dream Xanarkand to be a place of peace since the song was used only as a means to defy Bevel. This is the reason why the inhabitants of Dream Xanarkand, particularly Jet and Titus, know of the song but do not know of its true meaning. When Xanarkand was destroyed and the religion of Yevon was formed, naturally Yevon and Bevel banned the Hymn of the Faith from being used as it originated in Xanarkand and was used as a means to defy Yevon. In time, people started to sing the hymn. It started with the Albed, but eventually, even people who were devout followers of Yevon began to sing the song as well. After seeing the sudden popularity, Yevon eventually gave in and lifted the ban on the song, but not without changing the story in order to benefit them. They fabricated a story that the Hymn of the Faith was used to soothe the souls of the dead. After lifting the ban on the song, even more people sang the hymn due to its newfound purpose. During the events of Final Fantasy X, we see many instances where the Hymn of the Faith is used, such as whenever the party visits the temples in the game. Each one has a version of the hymn sung by the faith contained in the chamber. It is also sung during the sending scene in Kilika after Sin's attack while Yuna performs the sending, with its purpose being that the dead shall find peace as they move on to the far plane. And when the hymn is sung in order to calm Sin or the party to infiltrate it and attack Yu Yevon from within. Since Jet is the core of the current incarnation for Sin, his liking to the hymn of the faith is seen as a weakness by the party as it has always calmed down Sin whenever it was sung. This weakness can also be seen when Sin is in Makalania Temple and is stagnant when it hears the temple as it is playing the hymn. Now this is the part where we will do a little in-depth analysis. To many of us, this song is a very catchy tune and I would be surprised if you haven't played the tune and the lyrics in your head at some point between when you first heard of it until now. If you haven't played it in your head, you can probably stop the video here. Otherwise, let us take a closer look at the lyrics. When we take a look at the lyrics, it doesn't seem to be of anything significant, as there is no translation within the game. But it is determined that they are comprised of Japanese syllables that when put together also don't create any meaningful phrases. So, let us look into the first four phrases. Each of these phrases are made up of four syllables each. When we split them into each syllable, they don't mean anything when read left to right. But when read from top to bottom in each column, they make up phrases that indicate the meaning of the hymn. Looking at this graphic from the wiki page, we can see that the message of the song when split in this format is as follows. Faith, dream, you Yevon, pray, please grant prosperity, without end. Seeing the message, it is likely that this song was made around the time where Yu Yevon began the process of creating the city of Dream Xanarkand and sang the song as he began the process as not only as a means to defy Bevel and its armies, but also to preserve the life of Xanarkand through its dream version. Despite the hymn being sung throughout the inhabitants of Spira, the Hymn of the Faith is a tune that has persisted throughout the years for a reason. And depending on who you ask, the meaning of the song changes. That is because it has been used for different purposes and its consistent popularity among Spira's habitants. Despite its complicated history and different meanings, it is arguably the most iconic song in all of Final Fantasy X. And amongst Final Fantasy fans, this is a song that they will be familiar with if they have played Final Fantasy X or know someone who is a fan of the game. And that is the story of the most iconic hymn in all of Spira. Are you guys a fan of the Hymn of the Faith? Do you find yourself playing it at your head at times? Are there any meanings that may have missed? 
If there are, please let me know in the comment section below and let me know if there are any other topics you would like me to cover. Other than that, this is Enzo signing out, and that, as they say, is that.